This is Doug Varnbrigg and I'm going to show you a quick, easy way, feature of waypoint management. I've got my unit hooked up to a 12 volt power source and I'm going to show you how to go in here to the full simulator. When it loads up here you'll hit the menu button. Hit menu for startup, you go to simulator, exit. This is the full simulator where you can make waypoint adjustments, settings adjustments, and when you use the power button, it'll save them. The next thing is to hit your menu button twice. And what you'll want to do is come over here to chart and come down to set simulated position. You set the simulated position where you have your cursor, and I've already moved it to where I actually want it. So you just hit yes to save that wherever you had your cursor at. You hit yes, and now it has saved your simulated position. And what I'm doing is I'm going to delete some waypoints from the distance from the waypoint. And if we look, we have my position set here right down here in Texas and I've got a bunch of wave, uh, snapshots that I've taken that I want to get rid of down here in the Texas area. I don't want to disturb my good waypoints up and back home. I was getting some mapping screen capture so what you want to do is you hit your menu button you'll come over to navigation and the second item Waypoints, routes, and tracks is waypoint management. Now what you'll want to do is go up here to the top, sort by, that is your, your names A to Z or Z to A backwards. You can do the newest ones, you can do the oldest ones, or you can do it by distance. It will show tracks first and then waypoints. So actually, the next step I want to do is go to options. I want to select select multiple and I'm going to delete because I want to get rid of these. So I go down here and I select which ones I want. This is actually showing our Lake Master map and if you want to look, zoom out a little bit, we can see that one's on Lake Bolton. I want to get rid of that so I right arrow and that will highlight it blue to let me know that that's going to be one of the waypoints. Whatever I've selected here will happen. You go to the next waypoint. Again, that's another one I want to select. Here's another one I want to get rid of. These screen capture ones are the ones I want to get rid of at various points around the country. So I can look and select them. Now you can either use the four-way cursor and arrow back up to the highlight this line or the simple way is just hit exit and it'll go stage back. I'm going to hit done. I want to confirm deletion. Yes. Or if you don't want to delete them, you hit no. I have now removed those waypoints. You can also use that same feature if you want to select and move them into folders. Um, it's a great feature, waypoint management, that Humminbird is making it simple and easier. Check out more tips and tricks as I show you more features about waypoint management in the future.